Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, rain showers are going to continue to push through for this evening. We are going to dry things out for the weekend, which we do need to be drying out. We've received so much rainfall, especially from yesterday. Behind the storm system, cooler temperatures move in, but for how long are they going to stay with us? A really cool picture, I want to share this with you. Uh, this was submitted to me by Raymond Mayfield of Lancaster, Missouri. This was taken last night as we had those uh, heavy downpours as well as thunderstorms move through the area. This is incredible. Very cool picture of this uh, storm cloud that's producing a lot of rain, as you can see the rain shaft uh, in this photo. So thanks, Raymond, for sending that in. Really a very cool picture. We saw a lot of cloudy skies for today. Some light rain showers continuing to push through the area just northeast of Kirksville and into Macon, moving into Edina and Memphis and Ottumwa area. Some light rain showers as well. Other than that, we've got some cloudy skies. 72 degrees, though, at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the south-southwest. Very light, around 7 miles per hour. 72 and cloudy skies in Ottumwa. Winds are out of the southwest at around 7 miles per hour. Well, those showers are going to continue to push through the area for over the next few hours. Most of the activity, the heavier activity and the severe weather is in southwestern portions of Missouri. So again, uh, we were just getting on the very northern edge of that storm system, giving way to some cloudy skies and some uh, very light showers moving through the area. Most of the ac activity should be out of here by midnight or so. Other than that, we are going to see some drier conditions as we're heading into tomorrow because of the uh, uh, less intensity of the rainfall, we are going to receive less amount. So that is good as well because we received anywhere from an inch to two inches yesterday in our viewing area. So a lot of rainfall across the area that we're going to have to be dealing with. The good news is we are going to dry things out starting tomorrow and into early next week. But now looking about maybe a tenth, possibly up to a quarter of an inch, but I think on the lesser amounts, uh, we'll receive that rainfall for tonight. Cloudy skies will continue to stay with us. The good news is as we're heading into late Saturday night and into Sunday, we'll start to see those clouds uh, thin out. We will see more sunshine starting on Sunday, and that's going to continue to stay with us as we're heading into early next week. Let's take a look at your temperatures for tonight around 59 degrees, just a few degrees above normal with cloudy skies. Winds will remain light and variable. And if you're going out tomorrow, head on over to the Tractor Supply Pet Event Purina Days in Kirksville starting at 10 a.m. lasting until 2 o'clock. Temperatures will be about 63 degrees at 10 a.m. with some cloudy skies and highs for tomorrow. Very cooler. 66 degrees as you're high with cloudy skies continuing even as we're heading into tomorrow night. More sunshine returns on Sunday, 66, warming things back up into the 70s near normal on Tuesday, 78 degrees. Wednesday, 81 with a mix of sun and clouds overnight lows, 40s over the weekend, and then warming back up into the 50s and near 60 on Wednesday morning. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. Cool weekend, mm -hmm. but then we're going to start to warm things back up next week. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Teresa. Next in